Let's begin by adding a movie file in top. Then, load in the default blueprint image provided by Touch Designer. Now, duplicate this movie file in top twice to load different images. In the subsequent two movie file in tops, load in the default banana image and the transparent butterfly image. Next, add a switch top to enable switching between these images. Following the switch top, add a level top and set its invert parameter to 1. Connect a threshold top after the level top. We'll keep the threshold values unchanged. Conclude this top network by adding a null top at the end. Now let's transition to the SOP domain by adding a trace SOP. Within the trace SOP parameters, set the threshold value all the way up to 1. Also, disable the Compute Normals option and enable the Remove Borders parameter. Insert an Extrude SOP after the Trace SOP and decrease the depth scale up to 0.1. Add a Noise SOP. Next, in the Noise SOPs parameters, increase the period to 10. Set the harmonics value to 3 and the amplitude to 0.36. Finish this SOP chain by adding a null SOP at the end. Let's now move on to setting up our render network. Begin by adding a geometry comp. Simultaneously, while holding the control key, also add a camera comp, a line material and a render top. Drag and drop the line material onto the geometry comp and select material from the context menu. In the line material parameters, enable draw points. And set the line width near parameter to 0.8. Change the line near color to your preference. Increase the point size by setting the point size multiplier parameter to 1.5. Also, assign a nice red color to the points. Add a bloom top after the render top and decrease the bloom intensity to 0.4. Let's insert a null top before we begin setting up our main effect. Initiate this effect by adding a feedback comp from the palette. Adjust the feedback's dry mix value to your preference. Add a composite top after the feedback comp and use the previously added null top as its second input. Change the composite operation to negate. Now duplicate this composite top. In the duplicated composite top, set the operation type to vivid light. From this point, we will add several more composite tops to achieve the final look. Add two more composite tops following these current ones. Use the outputs of the previous two composite tops as the inputs for these new composites. 
change their operation types to negate and overlay. Next, add a level top after the first of the duplicated composites. And set the black level to 0.7. Also, increase the brightness to 1.5 and set the gamma to 0.6. Now, add a switch top to allow switching between these two composites. Connect both of these composites to the inputs of this switch top. To control the index value of this switch top, we will add an LFO chop, set its type to ramp, and decrease the frequency to 0.1. Set the amplitude to 2.5. Now reference this LFO chop to the index parameter of the switch top. Add an RGB key top to set the background color to black. Finally, conclude our work by adding a null top at the end of our network.